Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. 24 projects coming out to you back to back to back all the way through and into Christmas. Two a week. Um, they finished sometime mid-December. They've been going for ages. And today's project is this one. Now, this is the customer gift I sent out to everybody who came shopping with me. But this was my original. I was going to make this just as a simple standalone project for the Advent Countdown. And then I really liked it and I thought actually that would make really gorgeous gifts for everybody who came shopping with me. So I switched it up a little bit and this is what I've ended up with. I have got them all down to the side of me because actually I'm, although you're, fil you're seeing it after everybody's received it, I'm filming it ahead of time. You can tell I've still got the apparent cold. So I have got almost 200 here. I don't even think I'm going to be able to get them all on display. They were so much fun to make. I don't. I really don't think I'm going to get them all on. Um, let me just move those ones a bit. Oh, try not to drop them on the floor. There's another load of them. Let's get those out of the way. Got the very big box full of them, just coming up. But I loved it. I love sourcing adorable treats for everybody um it get, i get endless pleasure from making them and they look so cute so different so cute although typically those are very similar but they are all just adorable and i had so much fun making them and i really hope they've gone down very very well and i deliberately put two candy canes in one for the person receiving and one for them to give away. So I'm going to show you how to make this. And you need some paper that is six by six inches, which is absolutely perfect for the course of Christmas. Because it's six by six inches and I didn't have to cut anything. And you also need your envelope punch board. And the first punch and score comes at two and a half inches. So if you're working in metric, you want to be looking for 6.4 centimeters punch and score and you need to pay attention to where I'm punching and scoring because I'm not doing four scores line it up so line the scored the scored line which is just there with this score guide punch and score bring it round for a third time punch and score and then on the fourth time you're going to punch only because we don't need to fold that part it's just smooth and it's up to you if you round the corners or not I didn't mostly as a time saver but also because I don't think it needs it don't over burnish because you do need them to be a bit pouch like so that your candy canes will fit inside and just run some adhesive down one side so if I put it this way, right, gosh, that's quite busy, isn't it? If I put it down this side, that's the top, this is the bottom. That bit's going to fold in and then one side, then the other, so that you get this shape. So just run adhesive down one part of the wider triangle. So bottom up first, because you want to be able to catch your candy canes in there. One over, and that one. And that's it done. I will say that I put my, I'm going to come to this in a second because I can't really get it to stick on for you in the way that I did for my, uh, for all of these ones here, but I will come to that in a second. I've got Merry Christmas here from the lovely Labels to Love. And I did have some scrap white, but I can't see it because it's covered by all of the, all of the boxes now so I'm just going to bring that in I went with a mixture of garden green and the real red because that's the paper color so I just went with the two and I did 50 50 half them real red half of them uh, garden green couldn't think what the name is called then so I don't know what I'm going to do with this one garden green it's the closest one to me Turn off the alarm on my phone. 
the new gorgeous amazing label punch love it love a stamp and punch combination don't you so what I did because I've talked about um, crafting on mass production I did all of the punching uh, sorry all of the envelope punch board work one day I did all of the stamping and punching another day and then I put it all together because I needed to get these on and I needed to get them dry because I use liquid glue. As I said the other day, me and um, me and a hot glue gun is not, not a good combination. And I also felt, because you do get those spindly bits with hot glue, that it just, it could wreck the lot. So these are actually held on with Tombow. And it's not going to stay for me now. So what I did is I made all of this part. I didn't do, I didn't put the candy canes in. And I wedged them as tightly closed. I got the glue on. What I did is I worked in bundles of 15. Because you get 15 in the packet. I'll have to demonstrate because otherwise I'm, you're not, it's not going to make sense. So what I did was I, I got all 15 out and the wrong way up. I got my blobs of Tombow onto all 15. And I had a stack of these here. And I would come along and I went like that and held it for about 10 seconds, got the next one, if I empty one out, put it on top and stuck the next shape off, <clears throat> up, and I stacked it like that, and then when I'd got 15 done, I very carefully, and they were pretty much, it had taken, they hadn't completely dried, but they had, the glue had taken, and I tucked them, whoops, I've just got some candy canes, I tucked them into these thin boxes, because as you can see, they're the right width, they're fridge bins, and I just wedged them so that there was no room for error and I left it for 48 hours. Came back, picking up those, and they were absolutely fine and, and they had wedged themselves well and truly shut. Obviously I can't do that for this video because, you know, I'm not going to, it's not going to dry. So I'm going to use a mini glue dot. It's not going to be a strong, st look I can't even get it to stick on. It's not even going to be a vaguely permanent stick. Yeah, that's not happening, is it? We'll pretend that's on there. Um, you do need a wet glue because you need it to go into this fabric. We'll pretend it's there. Then, where did my candy canes go? I bought reels and reels and reels of this ribbon. And each, um, each of these ribbons is 9.1 metres. And what I did was I yanked the whole lot of, I really am mad to do this because I've got to put it all back. I actually pulled the entire length off, which you can't see. I pulled all of the ribbon off. I really am bonkers to do this. The things I do for you guys. Off the ends. And I just, I kept folding it in half. And this is, this is the method I use for an awful lot of ribbon cutting that I do. There's my other end. And I fold it up. So I now have four lengths here. And when I keep pulling, and I'm holding it tight so it's not, sh it's not slipping, I've got another loop there. Cut. So I'm now at eight. There's my other end. So I'm now at 16. There's another end, so that's 16. And then you fold that lot in half, cut the lot. That is 32 ribbons, which is what I used to tie around these. So once I'd established how many I need, how many I could get, and I will tie this as I chat how many I could get from one spool, then that told me how many spools I needed to buy to, to make these all for everybody. And then I sat and watched TV. I watched Liar. <gasps> oh, who watched that series? It was brilliant. Um, and I sat and watched Liar. And it was two evenings, and my husband and I were playing catch-up, and I did the lot in two evenings. Look, that's a not, not unattractive bow. And that is how I put together 
my thank you gifts for everybody who came shopping with me. And as I say, you can see my original. This was my original thought and I had the, the bow around the middle and I had the stamping and the die cutting. I decided that that was going to take me too much time, but actually this was the prettier one. Shall we just stick that on there and pretend it's stuck? I actually preferred this one. I actually prefer the candy canes. These are the same colours and they match the ribbons perfectly. Look, this one's red, white and green. Red, white and green. There we go. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. I really, really do hope everybody who's got these has enjoyed these and they've had one for themselves and they've gifted one away. If you've had both, that's fine. And uh, yeah, I'm already working on on November and I'm already working on December. I'm so excited. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.